Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, APRC GDC GAP independent candidate. Hello, guys. I know many people are flat right now because of the negative election results we just received, and the IEC has just declared Adam Obaro as president elect, as the winner of the election which was held on the 4th of December 2021. The time now is 21.49 GMT, and today is the 5th of December 2021, and this is Lamentamba distributing this message in Lamentamba is house one, Lamentamba is house two, Lamentamba is house three. Ladies and gentlemen, in the great alliance, the alliance of patriots, you have done every single thing. President Jamia, President Mama Kande, uh, the GAP, an independent candidate, have done everything possible to deliver us a win, an election win, today. Unfortunately, the election results didn't go our way. Right now, they're negative, and right now, we dispute the election results. Yes, Mama Kande, UDP, SFL, and some other candidates have come together to reject the election results in total. Now, uh, at the moment, I cannot say to you that we have strong evidence or substantive evidence to be able to take to the courts to challenge the election results. We have three, four, five, six opposition parties come together to challenge the election results, to reject them, I am assuming they have enough evidence to be able to present to the courts. Now, my advice is we should challenge the election results if we believe there's uh, something inaccurate or there have been abnormalities during the conduct of the elections. There are lots of allegations regarding polling stations having exceeded the maximum number of voters registered per polling station. We have had allegations about constituencies having more voters than the registered voters for uh, those particular constituencies. We have regions where it's been reported that more people voted than the registered voters. At the moment, like I said to you, it's all claims and counterclaims. I do not know whether it's true or not. I've seen our polling centers in the Great Alliance of the AGGI, in our polling centers, people coming up with their vote tally that they signed up to, which looked different to the vote tally that was announced. As opposition parties have rejected the elections in total, I expect them to be able to gather enough evidence to be able to put before the courts. And I want us all to be careful. I want us all to be able to give our parties the support to follow election challenges the right way by the courts. And hopefully, some or all of the results will be overturned and we'll be able to look at this election fresh. I do not know what's going to happen, but if it goes to court, the court can order a recount of fresh elections of certain uh, constituencies or polling stations, or the court can order a total uh, election period again, where we can have fresh elections all over. It depends on how much evidence is available to the leaders of GDC, UDP, SFL, and uh, BB Dabo and other people. So I will not know exactly what's going on until I put my hands on paper. But I want to cheer you guys up a little bit. Just lift your spirits in the AGGI Alliance, APRC, GDC, GAP, and the Independent. I would like to uh, just let you guys know that all hope is not lost. We haven't lost all of it. Yes, the election results uh, have given us a, a massive loss, but we haven't lost all of it yet. We do not know what's going to happen when a challenge has been launched formally against the borough government or against the IEC in respect of the election results that the IEC just declared and confirmed that borough is the president-elect. So, ladies and gentlemen, try and lift up your spirits. Try and make sure... Uh, you are all get focused. We all give our leaders the opportunity to investigate every single thing that happened during the electoral process. Uh, if there are massive or widespread irregularities, I am confident we'll have fresh elections and we'll do better than what we just did. But I do not know what evidence we have to present to the courts. Hopefully we'll have more than enough to be able to overturn the result. If we do not have enough, then the courts will let us know and then we can accept the election results. Uh, there's no point trying to fight uh, the results if it turned out that the results are free and fair and credible. 
and that everything was done in order. As I record this audio, the reports I'm receiving is that not everything is, or, is in order and we are challenging the election results. They've already been rejected by the leaders of the opposition. So uh, this message is a short one. Just so you know that we're not relaxing behind the scenes and just taking defeat like that and being quiet. No, there's a lot of work that's been done behind the scenes to investigate this election result. And if we do find enough evidence that we can present before the courts, we will do that. So let's be patient, be vigilant. Let's push, let's ensure we're together in this. We're not gonna lose hope. We have got other options after this election as to what we can do to have a massive say in the direction that the Gambia takes from today, the 5th of December, 2021, until God decides what happens to Gambia or what happens to all of us. So please stay positive. We've done everything we could campaign-wise, door-to-door campaign, talking to people, putting matters very clear to Gambian people as to what the dangers are if we re-elected Adam Abaro. We have done our best. We've highlighted the struggles that the country is going through. We've ensured the Gambian population knew that the health services is in pieces, is disintegrated, is destroyed. We have told Gambian people that education is in a poor state. We have told Gambians that the, our environment is being damaged and our fisheries are being depleted. We have told Gambian people that the security of the state is in a deplorable state, in a very bad condition with lots of dis disappearances and murders everywhere, every single day. So therefore, our security is failing. We have told Gambian people who know very well that our market prices are sky high and the average Gambian family cannot afford to eat decent meals because the prices of commodities have gone through the roof. We have told Gambian people that our environment has been damaged by multinational companies or international companies who are given licenses to fish, to run factories in Gunjur, Combo South, Banjul, and other places. They are polluting our waters. They are damaging our, our, our greenery. They are damaging our fish stock in the, in, the, in the sea. But if Gambian people think it's cool to give Adam Barrow their votes, is the result of a democracy. Right now we're disputing the elections because we've seen, our, our leaders have seen enough to be able to reject the elections in total. So ladies and gentlemen, we have done everything we could to highlight Gambia's disintegrating societies in terms of what we're getting from the government. We deserve a lot better than what Adam Barrow's government is offering us. And we gave them enough candidates for them to believe that we have better options than retaining Adam Barrow. If government people, after our electoral challenge, decided that they wanted to stick with Barrow and the suffering that Gambia is undergoing, then we will have no option but to allow it because it's a democracy, it's messy. Sometimes you will not accept the results of a democracy, but it's a democracy. However, right now we have every reason, our leaders, UDP, GDC, Independent, uh, uh, and Gambia for All under BB Dabo have got reason to reject the election results according to what they said. So we need to be able to be patient and listen to them and their advisors to be able to push this matter further and see what we come up with. As it stands, I want us all to stay together, stay united, stay green, purple, dark gray of gap or light gray of gap and everyone else that's involved in the election and anyone who has a keen interest in Gambian politics and where Gambia goes, please be patient. We ran a very good campaign as the AGGI Alliance. We want run a very good campaign. Mama Kande was the most focused candidate in the political terrain who refused to be distracted, who refused to be involved in the gossip garrual stuff or attacking other candidates' personalities. Mama Kande remained focused. It remained uh, on the issues that are affecting Gambian people. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we have absolutely no reason to fault anyone in the APRC executive or GDC executive or in the GAP executive or the independent and candidates, uh, Matar Nyang. We have nothing to fault. This election is probably the most expensive election ever held in the Republic of the Gambia. We were fighting an incumbent who has limitless amounts of money uh, and he has limitless amount of lies and limitless amounts of deception and other games that he could play 
uh, against the Gambian populace and misleading them and corrupting people and bribing people allegedly in order for him to retain the public office. Now, according to IEC, he succeeded in doing that, but according to opposition parties, that success is flawed. It's a fraud, uh, fraudulent elections, and we're going to investigate the election results in full. So on that note, the AGGI alliance in Lamington Bays House 1, Lamington Bays House 2, Lamington Bays House 3, Hardcore, APRC, Roots Defenders, K40, K4, Rescue Gambia, uh, Kansala, Fonyinjarol, Kasumai, or Kusamai, sorry, uh, and all the other fora that were fighting to ensure Gambian people were adequately informed, to ensure our country took a different and fresh direction to save our Gambian people. All of you, those who were spreading the word of mouth, those who were knocking on doors, those who were pulling agents, those who were just imams and pastors praying for us, those who were standing up and campaigning in any other capacity, you have done your best. The GDC got 89,000 votes or 87,000 votes. I can't remember in 2016. We managed to get 105,000 this time with the APRC gap and the independent candidate. And I have confidence that if this election was run on a clean slate, on a free and fair manner, we could have pulled a lot more than that. And I still think we had many more supporters than the 105,000 voters that I easily declared in favor of Mama Kande. I think we have a lot more voters. I don't know what happened at the polls, but we will find out eventually. Either way, we should look after our country. We should maintain peace. We should stay united. We should be ready to challenge this government of Adam Oboro everywhere and anytime and anywhere they fell short. And we know for a fact the last five years have been painful for all Gambian families and Baro fell short in every sector. Agriculture, security, fisheries, uh, market prices, environment, health, education, you name it, Adam Baro didn't excel. He failed in many respects. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a very good night and we'll reconvene tomorrow Monday and look at things afresh. Thank you.